What is up, my butter biscuits? In today's video, we're going to be talking about Jeffree Star's new Star Milk skincare collection. I'm surprised that it's not like called Star Yak Milk collection. It's a full skincare collection. We're going to be talking about my thoughts and opinions about this. Before we get into this video, I do want to say right off the jump, as you guys know, I am no skincare expert. I am just kind of like an average consumer that is talking about products that I find interesting online. I do have to say, I don't really see too much buzz about this collection. It is already out. I would have done this video a little bit sooner. None of the products are sold out, but I would have done it sooner, but I was on a cruise and y'all i did pre-film several videos before going on to that cruise actually four or five videos and i literally did not upload one and then also for my second channel too it took about 40 hours to upload a video on that boat i was like oh my gosh so i missed my sunday upload and i was like let me just push it back and then i was like let me not even bother with my other videos so i was like let me just throw them up later so i would have done this sooner but then i was like there's no point because it's gonna take forever to upload i do want to say before getting into this video as well too did you guys see that his house got um swatted in wyoming i was really tripped out about this because i did see this while i was on the ship and i was like this could have been very dangerous and i don't see how it is so easy to do it seems to be a thing when people are on tiktok live that people can like call the fbi and get somebody swatted and it just seems to be happening super super easy and more frequently and I just feel like that could be a really dangerous situation especially in a state like Wyoming because I do believe a lot of people over there do carry weapons you know what I'm saying so I'm like imagine if the police are busting in your door and you're like armed like that could be really really deadly honestly and I just don't see how people on TikTok can like find that amusing to me I thought it was kind of tripped out but I do want to say that he did make light of the situation and I was like oh, okay well I mean I guess you can make light of the situation because what else can you do about it you know what I'm saying Anyways, y'all, once again, this is a My Thoughts and Opinions video. I'm no skincare expert. I recently just did a video of my current skincare favorites, and I do have to be honest with you guys. I was, like, watching some of that footage back, and I'm like... I just really don't know what I'm talking about when it comes down to skincare. I really do consider myself to be just an average consumer. I have really tried over the past year to step up my skincare game and learn about active ingredients and see what they do for the skin so that way I know what better fits my routine, you know what I'm saying? And I still just find it so difficult. I find it to be a whole, like, different language to me. Like, makeup I understand, makeup I get, but then when it comes down to ingredients and skincare, I'm like... Oh my gosh, y'all. There is a lot to learn. So I do want to let you guys know before getting into this. I am no expert. Just letting you guys know that. It's literally just a my thoughts and opinions video. So if you guys are interested in that, of course, go ahead and give this a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Make sure you guys click the link down below. Head over to my second channel. Yo, I'm also starting to convert my main videos, or well, the large videos on there, into shorts also. So I'm going to be uploading a short every Wednesday, and then we are uploading new videos every single Sunday. So make sure you guys keep an eye out for that. Make sure you guys subscribe, turn on your notifications for that channel. We have a lot of fun cruise videos coming. I feel like the content over the past month has been a little bit boring over there on that second channel. However, some good ones are coming pretty soon. And then we also do have some really fun ones planned as well. So make sure you guys give a, thumb, a, little, a, little, give a thumbs up over there and let's go ahead and get into this. I literally have not shaved for a week, y'all. This is like the longest this has been. It's been, I want to say, oh, not a week, but it's been six days. Close enough to a week, y'all. I just feel like a hot mess, but I did get a little bit of a sunburn. I like how in one of my recent videos, I was like, oh yeah, I learned my lesson about putting on my SPF. No, I didn't. I literally did not. I had a couple drinks and I forgot to reapply my SPF and I got burnt. So I'm like, y'all, I literally low-key want to take off this beanie just to show you guys my forehead is just so like pilly. It's just so nasty. Like I took off the beanie once before and it was just like, oop, y'all, I just look like dandruff falling. It was so nasty. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this Star Milk collection. I do want to start off by talking um, about a product that I 100% will just not try, as you guys already know. This is the Sleepy Star Milk Body Serum, which retails for $32. I do want to say the packaging on this stuff I really do like. I feel like it's very sleek. It's really cute. The white with the silver and a little pop of pink, I feel like that's very Jeffree. And on top of that, too, it does look kind of luxurious. You know what I'm saying? You do get 3.33 ounces of product, 100 milliliters for $32. I feel like that is pretty good. But me and body products, and I know that I said this time and time again i do feel like i should step up my body care but y'all i just use gold bond and i'm like that's enough for me like i don't feel the need for all these like scrubs and serums and like you know what i'm saying all these different things i just don't see the use for it especially because i'm so hairy y'all like i just feel like what's the point of like shellacking on product on top of hair it just feels sticky and it like lays the hair down and just i don't i just don't like it i feel gross you know what i mean Anyways, this is what it says right here in the about section. Have sweet dreams with this lightweight body milk that penetrates deeply to hydrate and nourish your skin. This magnesium packed formula is also infused with active ingredients like melatonin, chamomile, and lavender water that promote pure relaxation for a uninterrupted night's sleep. This does definitely sound like a pretty like soothing product but once again i probably would use it um so this is what it says right here for the key ingredients magnesium melatonin lavender water um it says evening prim rose oil and i do not know how to pronounce this monoi monoi tahiti oil um and then also mango seed butter um which helps preserve skin's elasticity elasticity <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I didn't. Elasticity. Oh my gosh. Elasticity. Jesus Christ. I feel like I'm like super out of it right now. I do have to be honest with you guys. I'm like right before filming this video, my mind is so stuck on my viewfinder on the camera. I dropped the camera like you and y'all know this camera is $6,000. Okay. I was like about to cry because I dropped it and it's like bent upwards. So I'm like really trying my hardest not to focus on that. I was trying to fix it before filming, but my mind is like really on that. I'm like really upset about it. I do have insurance, but y'all, I cannot be without my camera for like weeks. And whenever I like at Best Buy, whenever there's like a minor um, problem with it, they'll send it back to the factory. They'll have it fixed, but then they'll keep it for like a week to 10 days. And I'm like, I can't, I can't do that over a screen, but it is really bothering me because it's super tilted. So I look crooked. Anyways, all besides the point, moving on over to the next product right here, we have the Creamy Star Milk Leave On Mask. Um, this also retails for $32 and you do get 2.7 ounces of product i do want to say i find that to be a little bit weird that these are both 32 dollars because typically a serum tends to be a little bit more and this being a leave-on mask is the same exact price anyways this is what it says right here give your skin a drink with our new milky leave-on mask this formula is full of actives that hydrate resurface and plump your skin so i do not okay this word has probably like it, you know what? It has to 100% be the most difficult word I have ever seen in my entire life, literally. So it says squalene, and then I am going to attempt, attempt to pronounce this word. Frutuligosacchiaridis. <laughs> I literally have never seen that word in my life. I have no idea how to pronounce it. That's what it has on there. And fruit extracts um, gently resurface the skin's texture while boosting hydration, resulting in a smoother, more radiant complexion. This actually does sound like a um, nice product, and I do like a um, leave-on mask. I kind of, I think, you know what? I would like that. Um, but y'all know me, though. Whenever it comes down to buying anything, I don't buy it without a discount. And if I'm going to buy anything from Jeffree Star Cosmetics or Jeffree Star Skin, I'm just not going to buy it without a discount. I'm just really cheap. Anyway, so this is what it says right here as far as the actives. It has um, sugar-derived squalene, which prevents moisture loss and helps restore skin's um, suppleness, uh, bilberry fruit extract, sugarcane extract, orange fruit extract, lemon fruit extract, and sugar sugar maple extract a fruit blend of extracts that help improve skin's texture and radiance and then this a word that i cannot pronounce i'm not even going to attempt to again um, but this says it helps uh, retain moisture in the skin promoting a plump hydrated appearance i do have to say this product right here actually does sound pretty good and once again i do like the packaging i feel like it's cute with a little milk carton on top of it too and then that's in silver and the rest is a little pop of pink i do feel like with jeffree star some things can be a little bit over the top, but this I feel like is actually kind of minimalistic compared to what he has. Like y'all know I love the banana fetish moisturizer and I'm like, y'all, taking that moisturizer anywhere with me is such a hassle because it is so massive, it's so heavy and it just takes up so much space, but I actually do like it. But traveling wise, I literally cannot take it with me because it just takes up way too much room even though I like it. This right here seems like actually a really good product. I'm curious to know what you guys think about it. If you guys have purchased it, um, if you guys try it in the future, please let me know how you like it because this actually does sound like a good product. Next Next up, we have the Star Milk Toner, which retails for $28, um, and you do get four ounces of product. I feel like I need to take my toner game a little bit more seriously. There was one, oh my gosh, I do not know from what brand that I was using. It was a Korean skincare brand, and I was using it for a while to help with my pH balance, and I do want to say I noticed absolutely no difference when it came down to these little irritated spots of my skin. As you guys know, that's what I'm always trying to fix, and people have told me before that my pH balance is probably off. Maybe that's why. So I did use that for a couple months, and then I was like, you know what? It's not helping with my makeup, but I should go back to using it because I really did notice a difference as far as like my skin suppleness as far as its bounciness, as far as its moisture, I feel like it was much better. But then I just get lazy with a extensive skincare routine. I feel like maybe like three, four products max. If I'm going to be using like six or seven, I'm just going to use it for like one week and then I'll be done with it. So I feel like with the toner, I don't know about this, but let's go ahead and read about it. This is what it says right here. Introducing our new Star Milk Toner. Cleanse and hydrate your skin with this creamy milk toner that's rich in antioxidants, vitamin E, and amino acids. And this is what it says right here for the actives. It says um, antioxidant trio with, I do not know how to pronounce this as well, citrullus, lentellus, which is watermelon, watermelon, fruit extract, lens S. Lente, lentil, fruit extract, pyrus, malice, which is apple. It's so crazy to me because like, please someone let me know down in the comments below because as you guys know, I'm just a little bit dumb. Why can't they just say like apple extract? Why do they have to say, say for example, the pyrus, malice, and then apple when it's like, can it just be apple? You know what I'm saying? Fruit extract helps soothe and it regenerate the skin's barrier. And then we have chlorella vulgaris extract, which is rich in amino acids and anti antioxidants, offers soothing and hydrating properties, and then vitamin E 
helps to retain moisture of skin. Um, high antioxidant benefits. This is once again $28. Like that product does sound as good too. You know what I'm saying? I just, I don't know, me and toners. I don't know about that. I think I would leave, I would use a leave on mask more than I would a toner. Also, I do want to say too, I don't know what it is for some reason. Y'all, please tell me your opinions about this. I just really like reading about Jeffree Star's skincare products because I do feel like with his, compared to like other sites, it's like easy to read as far, not not as far as like the names. Don't get me wrong with that. But as far as like the active ingredients and the percentage in there, I do feel like a lot of other brands don't tell you the percentage. So I really do like that he has that on there. Um, and then we have right here a Star Rice Milk Face Serum, which retails for $30. So once again, the serums are a little bit more cheap than like the mask, for example. But this one right here is only $1.8 ounces so this right here says this is a soothing facial um serum nourishes and hydrates skin while delivering a luminous looking complexion using rice milk hyaluronic acid polyglutamic acid and rice peptides to soothe and restore the skin's natural protective barrier the key ingredients in this is um, Rissolat, aka rice milk, known for its soothing and moisturizing properties, great for dry slash sensitive skin. Oh, y'all, I may need that. Recently, my skin has been getting a little bit dry. I do not know why. Um, Hydro Matrix Rice, PGA, which is a mix of hyaluronic acid, polyglutamic acid, and rice peptides, help to enhance the skin's softness, increase elasticity, and improve skin tone slash texture. And then we have the Pept Alde, which is naturally derived, actively protects skin against silent inflammation. I always want to know, like, what exactly is something like that? Like, say, for example, I understand inflammation, but, like, specifically silent inf inflammation? Like, what is that? Can somebody let me know? Um, And then there is a bunch of merch, but before we get into the merch, which y'all know I just really don't, I don't really care about, like, when every time, like, Jeffree Star comes out with, like, merch inside of his stuff, I'm like, nine times out of ten, y'all, I'm so sorry if you guys like it. Kudos to you. I just feel like it's really tacky, if I'm being honest. But, you know, that's just me. But then once again, I don't know how to dress, so I don't know what's up with fashion trends. Anyways, we do also have the Star Milk Ultimate Bundle for $102, which says it is a $122 value, so you do save $20 um, on that. And that does come with the, oh my gosh, the leave-on mask, the toner, the body serum, as well as the face serum. So if you guys are interested in all products, that's pretty good right there. You do save 20 bucks. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the fashion right here. <sighs> I just, I'm so sorry, but like when it comes down to this black star milk hoodie, the pink star milk hoodie, I just feel like it's, it's really tacky. I am so sorry. And then these are $65. Okay. I could even say like, say for example, I do find some cow print stuff cute. Like I've seen this shirt before. I don't know why for some reason I'm like, would I ever really wear it? But I do find it cute. I seen it before on, I forget what fashion online store. It was a men's button up shirt that was cow print. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. That I can like understand and I can get behind even this hoodie, but say for example with the big old Jeffree Star right across it, I do obviously understand that he is doing that for branding, but I do feel like it is a little bit tacky. You know what I'm saying? And to wear Jeffree Star like bam, you know? Because even I could look at the black one, y'all. I do love black and white. Oh my, I literally only pretty much wear black and white. So I do like the print on that, but the whole Jeffree Star across is just like a no to me. And then he is also coming out with a cow print um, skincare bag, which I'm sure you could use as a makeup bag. I think that would have been cute if it was in black as well too, but the pink to me is just not really my vibe. And then he is also coming out with Pink Star Milk Joggers, which retail for $45. I do feel like that is pretty pricey in my opinion. I do have to say overall, when it comes down to the merch for this collection, I am just not a fan of it. But some of the products in here do actually sound good, specifically the Leave On Mask and the face serum if you guys pick up those products please let me know how you like them because i really am intrigued to know about his other products as you guys know when it comes down to jeffree star skin i have only ever tried the banana fetish moisturizer which i have bought in one time over so i've got it two times now and i do have to say i really do enjoy that moisturizer i feel like it's a really good moisturizer before makeup it's not like the most intense like deep hydrating moisturizer but it is really good before makeup and it doesn't disrupt my makeup so i really do like that um but other than that i haven't tried any of his products actually i have it sitting right here and I was all telling you guys earlier how big and massive it is, just in case you guys do not know. And y'all know I am big, okay? Like, I'm big. I got a big old head. On top of that, too, I'm almost a size 8 in a fitted hat. Can you believe that? And look how big this is. Like, this is pretty damn big. Anyway, so that is it for my thoughts and opinions about everything. Make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions about everything down below. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout.